Hey, so Jerry White, I saw this article you sent me. This is great. Penny offense. Man fined for paying fee in pennies. Yeah, he got fined for paying a fee. This is the sort of story that makes everybody smile a little bit because uh, we've all been there. We've been treated unfairly and we comply to the penalty, but we do it in uh, such a way that causes someone to uh, to get it, you know? We right. stick it to them, well, as it were, you know? Well, I think it's kind of funny. So, you know, as I told you, I'd gone to the emergency room last Thursday, and when we got done with this three or three and a half hour visit, it, as it turns out, we had a humongous bill. I mean, just a very, very expensive bill, and, and currently we don't have insurance, so... I mean, I'm talking multiple thousands of dollars. So I can kind of relate in terms of seeing a large fee and then wanting to find some way to exact some vengeance. It sounds. It looks like he only had to pay $25 to the medical clinic. Yeah. It sounds like you're saying he's being petty because it's such a small fee. Yeah, maybe so. I don't think I would do anything similar to this, uh, but it is sort of uh, humorous to observe it. <laughs> it reminds me of Everybody Loves Raymond. There was an episode mm -hmm. where... Raymond was relating a story to his wife about how his father used to go through the toll booth and sit in the line and then the <laughs> people behind him were honking and, and then he would shout out the window, pennies are money, you know, and, <laughs> and, uh, so anyway. That's right. It's traumatic for the kids in the yeah. background. Yeah. They're all embarrassed. Yeah, exactly. It also brings to mind another uh, question of whether or not uh, pennies are valuable anymore, so to speak. You know, they're a penny, uh, one hundredth of a dollar, but they're not useful. It just bogs down time and it creates a big lag on, on everybody's time and, and energy. It's a big inconvenience to handle pennies. Nowadays, virtually nothing is worth a penny. I'm scrolling down looking at some of the comments, <laughs> and it goes both ways. One person says, if pennies aren't legal tender, arrest the Treasury Department for making fake money. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah. I, I figured someone might, might get mad for having this guy arrested for complying to paying the bill. He did not break the law by being a jerk. Who cares, right. you know? Here's another comment. We work for pennies, mm. so why can't we pay in pennies? At least the man was trying to pay <laughs> bill. Hey, <laughs> nice. Says that uh, West isn't alone in the ranks of penny protesters. That's uh, mm. the person who, was, uh, who perpetrated this terrible crime. A wise guy in Frederick, Maryland, showed up at the county clerk's office last summer with bags of cash to pay off his <laughs> tax bill with $966.86 in change. <laughs> he just walked in with a big bag of coins <laughs> and paid all, uh, nice. almost $1,000 in, in change. And a New Jersey school district a few years back punished 29 students who paid for their $2 lunches in pennies possibly as a prank, with oh, two-day detentions. Now, that's only $2, so that's not that much money. No. That's ridiculous. I mean, who cares if they've got a little malicious intent? They're complying with the expectation. And I think that's the, the whole spirit behind all three of these people. They're following the letter of the law, but they're uh, still able to uh, lash out at some injustice that they see that they're getting. Mm -hmm. <laughs>